Nothing better than a coffee. Yeah, and a cigarette, yeah. We don't have a lot going on here in the shop today, thank God. Between these hands not working and Aaron dying of heat exhaustion, we're really feeling it right now. All right, just keep me posted. If you feel better, just let me know. Hope right. to see you tomorrow. Drink some fluids, keep yourself hydrated. So Aaron's sick, he don't feel too good. I let him go to the house and chill out. Get him two days of rest, turn the AC on. Two days? Well, yesterday degrees. plus today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yesterday counts. Can't have another two days. <laughs> I'll, I'll oh, okay. <laughs> I can't ever speak. I got an email earlier. I checked my phone. I forget what it was. Some four or five emails. And one said, 97 and sunny in Houston. Fuck this place. It's hot as shit. We got a big ass fan. We spent over $5,000 to get it installed. But the minute you start piling cars in here, the breeze stops. And for $30,000 to air condition this building, nah, playa, that's not gonna happen. It's hotter than hell in this bitch, and everybody's moving slow, everybody's hurting. Aaron literally went home early the other day because of heat exhaustion. So what we've got going on today is this beautiful 2019 Dodge Ram. This thing is really tricked out on the inside. This is the nicest Dodge Ram I've ever seen in my life. Chrysler's really stepped their game up in terms of the acoustics on the inside of the vehicle. His audio system, just stock, is totally jamming. This guy's already done some upgrades to his system. He's put a gigantic digital designs 18 inch subwoofer in there and a really nice box from another retailer. It looks really good. Today, what we're gonna be doing is putting some highs in it, get him a little more crisp, right? So check it out. What we're gonna be putting in here today is some Sorbon Vega equipment. Uh, first off, we've got right here a six channel high end. And basically what this does is we take the factory amplifier that's in this car and we go to the output side of it where that signal's coming from with all that strength that goes to the stock speakers. And we're gonna send it to this bad boy and it's gonna group it all back together in one big full range signal, and split it up from there and it's gonna go to a DB Drive Euphoria amplifier. Now these are very, very high end amplifiers from DB Drive. I'm actually getting two of them delivered right now. One of them is gonna go in the ramp. So we plug that amplifier up to this. We're gonna use these speakers right here. Now, these are both Soro Vega setups, Vega series speakers. We got six and a half inch components for the front door. And we're gonna go ahead and go with six by nine inch speakers for the back. So we gotta make some little adapters and whatnot to make the new speakers fit where the old speakers used to. We're gonna put some sound deadener in the door to really dampen those panels. And we're gonna put some acoustical dampening foam in there as well. That'll help do a couple of things. Uh, it'll cancel a bunch of rear wave noise and make your speaker sound really bad. When you do that, you alter the resonant frequency of the panel and that helps the speaker sound even better than that. So we're gonna do everything we can to really get this Dodge Ram to come alive. The customer's gonna be really happy. Uh, we're doing breathalyzers, so. No, I'm talking about from the truck. Oh. Actually, I don't know, did he unload it? David! Let's see, I'm probably not supposed to do this. It's empty. What delivery truck is empty, guys? What y'all doing over there at Broadway? I'm really worried. What are you doing with it? David, where'd you put the stuff? Oh, there it is. Never mind. Got some goodies, guys. Oh, this is for that Mercedes that we're supposed to be working on. Mm. Putting a radio in a Mercedes. 2002 to 2009. Okay. Why would we be putting a radio in there? I have no clue. Probably blew his factory amp or something like that. Let's take this to Paul. Because I know this is going to be pretty good truck. Wait, are we revealing it to you? Notice, a visa. Ah! I'm trying to eat so angry. So what we basically got here is a Euphoria amplifier. That's uh, DB Drive's high end. That's their answer to a lot of uh, higher end brands, but at a hell of a lot more attractive price point. These are really small amps considering the power that they pack, but they're extremely efficient, extremely clean, and they've become a house favorite around here. Silica gel? I like silica. We'll put this on the Sundays later when we snack. Yep, that's the bad boy right there. That's when I'm just gonna be running all this stuff. What's going on? When you put shit back together, people, you don't have to use a four foot torque wrench. You feel me? You snug it down, you tighten it up. Do you know how much reverse torque this thing has and that bolt won't come off? Why? So the way it works is like this. You have a beautiful stock radio, right? 
stock radio sends signal to the stock amplifier. And on this truck, it's underneath the driver's seat. It's really easy to get to. You gotta unbolt the seat, which is kind of a pain, but you've got a little window of area to work and all that. You have just enough space to do your thing. What I wanna do is I wanna get the audio signal from the output side of that stock amplifier because I wanna mess with it. I wanna sum all the frequencies back together because that stock amplifier has built-in crossover technology. So I need to get a full range signal out of it, which is no problem because that Sir Vega piece that we're gonna use, it auto sums all those different uh, frequency ranges back together. So I'm good. But the problem is with these Chryslers is you need these. This is a resistor. All right, here's a little tech tip. This is a 47 ohm, five watt resistor. And what these are used for is to trick the stock audio system into thinking the stock speakers are still connected because otherwise the stock audio just turns itself off. Play for a second, turn itself off. Play for another second, turn itself off. And you wonder what the hell is going on? Well, these Mopar setups, basically what they want to know is, is that stock speaker still connected so we can keep you jamming. This is your new stock speaker. So what you do is you take a resistor for every signal channel that you tap. I'm gonna tap the front tweeters and the front doors because between both of those speaker sets, I get full range sound, stereo, and that's all I need. And I can send it to the amplifier and all that and do the rest from there, which is really easy. But you gotta keep the system going. And that's what this is for. This little resistor wired across the positive and negative, each output wire from the stock amplifier that you're gonna tap, tricks that system into staying on so you can take the signal, send it to your processing unit, and do what you need to do from there. And action. So, about a couple of months ago, DB Drive came out with a brand new line of WDX amplifiers. The 400.4, the 800.4, the 3000, the 2000, the 1000, but on their website there was this elusive 5000 watt WDX amp. Everybody started blowing my phone up, Paul, where's this amp, where's this amp? It's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a bit. Oh, we've sold tons of these, the 1K, the 2K, the 3K, the 2-4 channels. We put them in everything. I get an order 30 minutes ago for some 9-wire and a couple other little odds and ends. There's a mysterious box there. The WDX 5K has arrived. This amp everybody's been blowing my phone up about it's freaking amazing we just got it in here we're gonna bust the box open on it check it out real quick all right class d circuitry one ohm stable it's a model block imagine that it's got a base knob more importantly a wire felt more importantly it's small it's efficient fits underneath back seats of pickups box is lightweight Let's see box is super lightweight and it almost flies out of the packaging all right so let's check it out. We've got zero gauge inputs for both power and ground, remote. You've got eight gauge outputs for your speaker wires, two positives, two negatives. That way you don't wind up overheating a terminal. It's got a really nice black anodized aluminum heat sink to it. It's a very sleek looking amplifier. I think we're gonna sell tons of these. Check out the other side. You can see where it's got bass boost, gain, low pass filter, subsonic. Uh, subsonic filtration is really important if you wanna filter out ultra low frequencies. That's pretty awesome. Bass knob plugs in right there. It's a very simplistic design, but stupid efficient amplifier. Um, the cool thing I like about this is DB Drive says 5,000 watts, but you don't need a 500 amp fuse. They only think uh, they want like a 300 or 350 amp fuse. Really efficient amplifier. I think you guys are really gonna like it. We just got this one. From what I understand, I'm the only shop in Texas that's got them. I can't wait to play with this thing. We'll probably put it in a car here pretty soon, but for now, I gotta get back on that Dodge before I get my butt kicked by our customer. Stay tuned. All right, so the six channel line driver from Servo Vega is pretty much installed. Tapping that stock amp was kind of a pain in the butt. It's very tedious, a lot of crimping. My hands are on fire right now, but for the most part, it's done. I'm ready to run wires to the back. Thankfully, since Aaron had to go home early because he was sick, Jess really pitched in and finally used a jigsaw for the first time. Okay, so real quick, usually little templates like that, I like to use the old stock speaker, make a template out of it, get on my router on the router table, right? I'm busy doing all this wiring that Jess can't do, and you're out of your rabbit ass mind if you think that I'm gonna stick that poor boy on a router. So, but he's not doing too bad with a jigsaw so far. Maybe one day we can get him on a router. Today ain't that day though. I can use tools.
completely exhausted. We're gonna call it quits for today, but join us next week as we conclude Project Ram. Everything's fully connected. We've got the batteries on charge. Can't wait to get this thing tuned out. I know this Euphoria amp is gonna do wonders on these Servo Vega speakers and whatnot. So I wanna thank my boss, because my boss pitched in today when Aaron went home sick. Yeah! Old boy came through in the clutch. Jesh is a gangster. He ain't finna touch my router table, but with a jigsaw, boy is a tactician. So jigsaw master, man. I wouldn't. Don't push your luck. Okay. Yeah, come okay. On. Come on, give me something. I got dusty. I'll dude. give you. I'll give you something. Nah, I'm good. I'll join us next week on Car Audio Dynasty. Make sure you guys check out a little below and see the whole like and subscribe thing, and click on that and join up for all the spam emails and all the cool stuff. But check us out next week. Don't forget, next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Car Audio Dynasty. Y'all holla at your boy.